Good morning, traders. Welcome to today's market review. This is Fred Rezek at CM Trading. Today is January 4th, 2016, and today is the first Monday of the year. Uh, so welcome back, everybody, from your extended holidays. Hoping everyone had a safe and meaningful holiday. So looking at the economic calendar today, we've got two things coming up. Starting at 11.30 South African time, we have a GBP number coming out. It's a manufacturing PMI number, uh, which is a interest or inflationary number. Uh, so that should be interesting how that actually pans out. And then at 5 p.m. South African time, we have a uh, U.S. dollar number coming out. It's also a manufacturing PMI number, which is also inflationary. So it should be kind of interesting how that plays out in the euro. Looking at the graphs, well, the first thing, that notes uh, is the lack of the year in rally for the Dow Jones. If we look at the Dow Jones, it's trading at 17,175, well below our expectations of possibly hitting 17,850. Uh, so we faltered at this 17,495 level and then further at 17,386. And now we're back at the bottom of the range, uh, closer to 17,041. So uh, needless to say, we were expecting a year-end rally, but that has, you know, not come through. So, question is, where we're going to be trading? Uh, you know, it's it, we're trading in this range, so we're closer to the bottom of the range. Not necessarily is here a great point to actually buy it, um, but as we get closer, let's see if uh, the financials are there with the corporations and see if things could actually be um, a little bit lifted uh, as we go into the 2016 year. Uh, looking at the USD Japanese yen also faltering under 120. Okay, this is a big number because we had uh, 120 was a threshold and support level for the Japanese yen. Uh, so ultimately, is it a big, big move? It is a big move. Okay, and now we're, we're entering this 119 level, which is another threshold, but that's, you know, it's, it's a decent trading level to actually be making money on the volatility of uh, the depreciation of the dollar versus the yen. So, you know, altogether, I would keep this on my radar this week. Looking at the Euro USD, we're trading at 108.92, a very quiet week last week uh, as we were in the holiday season. Um, altogether, looking at the daily, uh, also getting closer to the bottom of that range. Usually, we have a inverse relationship between the dollar and the Dow Jones, but unfortunately that hasn't happened of most recently. Looking at the GBP Japanese yen also faltering, faltering quite hardly. We're looking at a four-hour chart. That's a big retracement. Once we broke this 180 level, the floor was lifted and, you know, we went down all the way to 176. That's a 400 pip move. Uh, and for this time of the year, that's really actually quite, uh, quite impressive. So, uh, where's the next level that we could uh, see it hit? Let's look at the weekly calendar. Okay, as it comes up, let's see if that, oh, no, it didn't come up. Okay, so the next level is actually, as we stand right here, at 176. Uh, so I would expect a little bit of a bounce. Let's see if that actually capitulates today. Looking at the USD czar, Bouncing back to 1556 after hitting 15 or 1498, uh, and we're creeping closer to our all-time highs. So we may fill this gap finally at 1576. Let's see if that actually happens, and we uh, top out at 16. So unfortunately, the czar has gotten depreciated even more, as we can see here, uh, from already depreciating five, six years in a row. Uh, so, you know, we've we've highlighted this before and it remains to be uh, still in in a trading session. So it's still it's still active. It's still having some some sort of character, uh, even though this trickling down was a little bit difficult because, you know, as a uh, filling the gap, you expect it to happen right away. But this is obviously has taken a little bit longer to actually fruit. Looking at oil here, trading at 37.69 at the top of the range here, uh, but nothing really to write home about. I do expect it again to hit 33, 34 dollars a barrel, uh, but that remains to be seen. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, looking at the rest of the week, 
it is the first week of the month, so we do have a FOMC meeting this week, and that will probably affect on Friday. So that's something to keep an eye out on. So expect a little bit of volatility today, but as we get it through the week, we should expect uh, increasing volatility in the markets. This is Fred Rezac at CM Trading. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.